Mutual dried up in meetings. A dried up fig, apricot, or wild berry you often see the things, but a man dried up in meetings is rarely identified. He is the one dried up and mummified from meetings who has lost his zest for life. You know the type even if you don't know his name. You know him well and often pass him in front of his office or on the stairs. He is the thin man, leaning forward, taking long strides. Where is he rushing off to? Another meeting. For him, there's no difference between day and night, spring and fall, hot and cold, heaven and earth. None of them have any significance. He is the man who is so distant from the sounds of spring, the fragments of flowers, the songs of birds or of music and joy. He doesn't enjoy these things. Do you think this man will be different in his private family life? Or that when he comes home and meets his wife and children, his personality changes and he stops being strict? Does his face light up and a smile appear on his lips? If so, you are mistaken. Catch a glimpse of dried up conversing with his wife, Mayransa. Comrade Mayransa, it has been suggested that you wash my socks and hang them up to dry. Ansa is requested, Comrade Mayransa. His not so easy life that was usually spent in meetings, appointments and in giving speeches was disrupted several times by his own family affairs. Let me explain. One evening, 18 years ago, when Dried Up returned from a meeting, he was surprised not to find his wife at home. He wondered what meeting she could be attending at such a time of night. A short while later, the neighbor's wife stopped by and congratulated him. Brother Dried Up, good news! You have a beautiful daughter. My Ransa Hanum is in the hospital waiting for you. Was this necessary? Who directed this order? What will they say at work? Then they brought the baby home all bundled up. Dried up didn't leave his world of papers and notes to look at the child. Mayransa asked her husband to decide upon a good name. Dried up took the matter to the meeting of his club. Many names were suggested, but he accepted none of them. Instead, he insisted on his own ideas. He suggested Maruza, which means written report. People in the meeting roared with laughter and then they applauded. And that's how his daughter's name came to be Maruza. Maruza grew up and dried up's problems multiplied. He would give the same answer to all her would-be suitors. Fill out a form, I'll look into it. The suitors on hearing this would disappear. Eventually, Askar, a taxi driver, who was very sincere in his intentions towards Maruza, refused to give up his pursuit. And Mayransa was happy about the prospect of having Asgar as her son-in-law, so she tried to influence her husband. Dear, they are asking for the hand of Maruza. Be more specific. Who wants her? And under what conditions? The driver Asgar. Where is his letter of request? There's no letter. Don't be ridiculous. If there is no request, no forms and no guarantee, why are you wasting my time? Perhaps whenever you don't have any meetings, you could meet this man. He could come and talk with you. His name is very old-fashioned. Very old-fashioned. If you mention it to him, he will change his name. I don't need him. If someone is interested in our daughter, he should send his resume and photo. I could get familiar with him and then we could start to talk about it. Asgar was told what Dried Up had said. He replied, If he wants my resume, let him go get it himself from my office. But I know an easier way than this. So we won't have to bother him needlessly. That evening, Dried Up was arranging his minutes and official reports. Dear, where are you going? Nowhere. There's just a small meeting. Where is Maruza? She is at her own meeting and has sent you a note. It seems that the kids have an appointment. Read and find out. Dear father, we have discussed this extensively. 
We have thought about it and talked it over. We didn't want to bother you, so we have gone to the notary. Tomorrow is our wedding day. It will be in the home of the bridegroom. If you have time after your meetings, please drop by. Your daughter, Maruza. What? What? They have issued a resolution without consulting me? Who has certified this? You must certify it. But I haven't read this request or investigated his job without having some discussion. How can I approve such a decision? What kind of insanity is this? Whether you approve it or not is your problem. I will be at Asghar's house for the wedding. Look after the house. Don't leave the doors and windows open. For dried up, it was as if the entire house had begun to spin around him and a millstone had been tied around his neck. <laughs>